Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Pierce here, bringing guys another video. And today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to port Fortnite models and get pretty much any skin you would like from the game files into Blender so that you can make thumbnails with that. Now, assuming you watched the last video, which was the full thumbnail tutorial, how to do the Blender stuff and the Photoshop work, you probably have Blender installed by now. Now, I'm going to show you everything else you need to install, and let's just get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go in the description, and there's going to be this thing. There's going to be a download. The first one we want to download is IO Import Scene Unreal PSA PSK 280. You want to go ahead and download this and basically save it to anywhere you want. I have it saved. I have a Blender folder where I have this saved into, but it's completely up to you where you want to save it. Okay, guys, when we're in here, uh, this there will be like this little gray box, or you can find right here, Download. You want to click on that, and then you'll be met with this thing here, Windows 32 version. You want to go ahead and download that. Now, once it's downloaded, uh, you can have it saved wherever you want. It's going to be called umodel underscore win32. You want to right click on that and then do extract here. And then it should extract it. And you'll see you have umodel, sdl2, and readme. You can go ahead and delete readme. But these two things we're going to need. What you can do is you can select both of them, holding shift or control. Click on both of them and then do control C on your keyboard. Okay guys, so then where you wherever you have Fortnite downloaded, you want to go to that thing, and you want to go to Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Content, Packs, and then you can scroll down. See, I already have uh, the U model and then SDL here, so all you need to do is just right click and paste, and it should go right there. Now guys, the next thing we can do is we can download the U model Auto AES. This will also be in, in the description. Now guys, once you have that downloaded, we're going to do the same thing. Or if you have it downloaded, it should be called Umodel Auto AES underscore simple. You want to right click and then do extract here. And then here are the files. Now the only file we actually need here is the Umodel Auto AES. We don't need the run file. I'm going to go ahead and delete those three because we already used those. And what you want to do is just click on this, control C, and then you can delete it. Then you can go back down to the packs and then right click and paste. I already have it here. Now another thing you can do to make uh, opening this a lot easier is on the U model Auto AES, right click and then do a, a shortcut. So create a shortcut. And you'll see that's right there. And then what you could do is if we bring this up, you can actually put it in your desktop. And now when we see it in our desktop here, we can right click on it and then do pin to taskbar. For me, it's already down there, so I don't need to do that. Now guys, we can move over to Blender because we're pretty much done downloading everything. So the first thing we want to do is go to edit. Preferences. Let this load for a second. Uh, and then we want to go to add ons, install, and then wherever you save the auto import, uh, whatever it's called, auto import, what was it? The IO import scene. Wherever you have that saved, you want to find that. And basically, once you find it, you just click install add on from file. Then what you could do when you're done that is after it will install, you'll be here and you want to scroll down. And you're going to go to the part where it says import, export, and you'll see all these different ones. You want to find the import, export, unreal skeleton mesh, and you want to make sure it's checked like that. Then in the bottom left, there's going to be these three little bars. Click on those and then do save preferences. Now we can actually go ahead and close that thing. Now, guys, what we want to do is we want to open U model. So in the bottom, if you do have it in your taskbar, find that and just click on it once and it should run. Now, when, when we're in here, you want to click override game detection in this little drop down thing we want to do unreal engine 4 and then this this one we want to do unreal engine 4.24 and then we can click ok after this is done loading we can actually make this a bit bigger this just helps with it and now what we can also do is go to back to google and in the, in the description i'll have this id sheet this pretty much shows the names of all the different skins in u model because as you see when we go to u model player female medium you see they have some really weird names like bunny suit one, uh, squad plaid, uh, Aztec eclipse. They have some pretty weird names. So this sheet will just help you out. What you can do is do control F and you can type in the name of skin you want to find. But for this video, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to scroll through and I'll find a skin and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I found a skin that I actually want to do. I think we're going to do the chromium skin. So as you can see here, it says F Med Soldier 01. That is pretty much the name of the body. So what you can do is go back to U model. Let me scroll up here. You'll see under game, there will be all these different folders. Now you want to find the one called characters. 
Then it's going to drop down female. It depends what skin you're doing. For me, I'm doing a female skin, so we're going to go down female. Open medium. And then since we're going to do the body first, we'll open bodies. Now, this is an alphabetical order, so this will help you a lot. You want to just scroll down until you find the name. So for me, soldier 01 right here. Then what we want to do is drop down meshes. Or we can click on meshes. Click on F Med Soldier 01 U Asset, the one at the top. And then also what we can do here really quickly is go to tools, options, and then right here there will be these three little dots. Click on those. And what I do recommend doing is making a blender folder. And in that blender folder, make one called PSKs. Another folder called PSKs in there. Then once you've done that, you can click OK, click OK again, and we can actually click export. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to get the textures of the skin. So let's go back to here and see what the textures are. For her, it's called F Med Commando 01 Metal Woman. So we're going to go back to U Model and we're going to drop down skins. And basically we just want to look for F Med Commando Metal Woman. If that doesn't work, what you can also do is in the top left, you want to click flat view and then filter, type in the name of the texture. So for us, it's Metal Woman. So we can type that in. And as you can see here, we found it. What you can just do is select all of this because these, these are all the textures we need. You want to just select all of those and then go down to export. OK, and then that should be good. Now, guys, we're actually going to get the head of the skin. So for this skin, I believe it is Ramirez. So what we can do is close bodies and go to heads. And you want to just scroll through here until you find it. So for us right here, here's Ramirez. What you can also always do is go to flat view and then like I did before, type it in and then it will probably come up. Okay guys, so we're gonna drop down the Ramirez folder then click on mesh and the one on the top, click on that and then export and then okay. Now guys, that's pretty much it for the U model part. Now we can actually move back to Blender. Okay guys, so once you're in Blender, what you wanna do is you wanna go to file, import and then skeleton mesh PSK. And once you're in here, what you want to do is find your Blender folder. Now in your Blender folder, if you actually made a PSK folder, you want to open that and then go to Game, Characters, Player, Female, Medium, Bodies. Now we're actually going to do the body first before we do the head. So when you're, we're in here, we're going to go to the name of the body, which is Soldier 1 for us. Click on that, click on Meshes, click on this thing right here, and then Import PSK. And as you'll see, it will show up really big right here. So what we want to do is you want to make sure you select on the bones, like these little like um, lines. And then on your keyboard, type in S0.011. And that will make it smaller, and then we can zoom in. You can actually use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in. Uh, it just makes it easier. Or you can use the, the zoom in tool right there. Okay, guys, so now we actually have the body. And what we're going to do with the body is, we're, again, click on the bones, which are the little sticks. And then under edit and render, there's going to be object mode. Click on that and go to edit mode. Then what we want to do is everything right here, all the head parts, we want to select all of those, right click, and then do delete bones. And then another thing we could do is at the very bottom, in between the feet, there's another little stick there. Select that and then delete bones. Okay, guys, so we're pretty much done with the body now. Another thing you can also do is in the top right, there's going to be these four little circles. Click the one click the third one from the left and then as you'll see it makes it a lot wider also what we can do on the body is make sure you select it on it you know you're selected because there will be a like large yellow outline around it and then right click and do shade smooth now guys we can move on to the head so what we want to do is go back to file import skeleton mesh psk and then go back to the characters player female medium and this time go through heads and then since we use the Ramirez head, we want to click on Ramirez head, mesh, click on it, and then import PSK. And as you can see, you don't see the head. So again, what you want to do is make sure you select on the little stick right here, little bone. And then on your keyboard type S0.011. And then now you can see the heads right there. Also, what we can do for the head is uh, click on just the head part, right click and shade smooth that. Come to the right side, you'll see a thing that says scene selection. And you're gonna see the head and then the body. What you wanna do is there's gonna be these two little eyes. Make sure only the head is selected. So now you can only see the bones from the head. And what you wanna do is select the bones, go back to edit mode, and then what we're gonna do is from the bottom up, we're gonna get only these bones. So up to here. 
Then what you can do is right click and delete selected bones. Now we can go back into object mode. We can turn back on the bones for the body. And now what we can do is while holding shift, you want to select both bones. One will go orange and one will go yellow. Then what we can do is do control J. That will put them together. And we can do the same thing for the body. So select the body, shift, and click on the head. And then again control J and that will make everything one. Now what we can also do is go back to the bones, go back to edit mode, and then what we can do is, right here there's going to be a little neck bone called Neko 1. What I do recommend doing is going to the side here, there's going to be this little running stick figure dude. Click on him, click on viewport display, and turn on name. Now you can see there's going to be a bone here called Neko 1. We want to click on that, and then under the little stick figure, we want to find the bone. Click on the bone, go to relations, and then on parent, type in spine, and select spine 05. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for part one. Um, if you want to see part two, like this video if it gets like five likes, I'll post part two. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.